All right, so I got the Carlin brand and there's all four pieces. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the boots off. I'm gonna add a lot more grease. Also, if you guys are wondering, this is what the play is. Like that's about to give, like that's bad. No ball joint play, just the tie rods. There we go, easy, huh? Very easy. So, I got the tie rods out, and I'm gonna swap this sleeve onto the new tie rods. This one was the worst. This one had lots of lots of play. Like, it was pretty bad. Well, maybe it was this one. One of these was, I had a lot, a lot of play, so. Yeah, changing them to on this side to on the other side. Look at that little fella. He really likes that Mercedes floor mat, doesn't he? Ghost! Ghost! There you go, added a bunch of grease and we're gonna go ahead and install the boot back. And there's three more tie rods I have to do the same thing too. And two are already done there's two more look at this i opened this one up there's literally no grease there's nothing in there can you imagine that's crazy this is why you open everything all the bulgins and anything that has boots and grease everything yourself and much better now all right this side is uh, ready to go on I'm about to install that. Tie rods are replaced on this side. And uh, I also took out this fender liner. But I'll come back to it. I'm going to reinstall it now. There was a bunch of junk in here. But uh, the reason why I'm saying I'll come back is I need to get the fluid film and uh, preserve this area. I also thought that we had a bunch of good parts on this car, but it's not the case. Oh, <laughs> actually, the brakes are gone completely. There's no brake pad material left, basically. And uh, what else? Bushings. Put some grease there because there was some bare metal right there. <laughs> but the, the bushings, suffering bushings are gone completely. The ball joints are actually good. Shock mounts are pretty t bad, long story short. Yeah, and I think engine mounts are bad too. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done. It's crazy. This is why you put grease before you install the tie rods inside. So they don't rust out and then you're having a pain having to take this thing out, take it apart. Yeah, just a tip for you guys. <laughs> this side is ready. All right, so this side tie rods are also installed. And as you can see, I put some uh, copper paste on the, uh, not on the threads right there. Uh, this is still loose because I have to adjust the alignment uh, the, using the string. And also, as you can see, the boot is kind of wet because I put a silicone paste on it. That way the boots are gonna stay like preserved. They're not gonna, start cracking dry rotting whatnot and other than that this 
it would be ideal to actually drop this uh, subframe, but yeah, we'll see. But I would like to do something about these bushings because these bushings are kind of bad. So we'll see, and possibly new shocks. I have to get new brakes as well, they're pretty bad. Yeah, lots of work. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today is gonna be another video. I'm warming up my amazing Mercedes W115 because I'm gonna change the oil on it. And I also have to show you how to, I'm not gonna be changing, but I'm gonna check that oil level in the injection pump because this injection pump uh, has the internal oil. There's no oil coming to the injection pump from the engine, unlike W123s that are, you know, like 1981 and newer, whatever. So this one has, if you see a red cap on top of the injection pump, that means it's got its own oil. You have to change it yourself every oil change. So as you saw, that was the red cap on top of the injection pump. So, uh, I just want to mainly check the oil level in it and it's a good idea to change the engine oil in it every every time you change the actual engine oil so yeah uh but we will see maybe i'll change the oil on it or i just want to mainly make sure that it has you know oil in it there's a there's actually like a bolt that you have to remove you remove that bolt and then it will show you like you have to make sure that the oil is dripping out of there if the oil is not dripping out of that bolt hole that means it uh, needs to be topped off. All right, the engine is almost warmed up. It's been idling five minutes. So I'm gonna let it warm up a little more. And she, that's how she shuts off. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, first things first, I'm gonna pull that oil filter. All right, already loosened it, 17 millimeter. Right over there. And then we'll start it draining. Yep. And I usually like to do the filters first and then I'll, I usually drain the engine oil itself. All right, so here's the new oil filter. I'll be using that. Uh, about to change all that, and I'm gonna use the Mobile 15W40 for this amazing machine. Okay, now I'm draining the oil from the actual engine. So that's draining. Cool. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a while, so I'm gonna wait. Also, what sucks is the oil filter that I got. They sent me the wrong oil filter. The one that has to go in here is a lot bigger and I got the smaller one, probably for a gasoline model. And yeah, it sucks. I'm gonna have to wait uh, to get the correct parts, but I'm still gonna drain that oil and refill it. And I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna check the oil in the injection pump. I've got the drain plug with new crush washer. Cause the old one was pretty bad and chewed up. The oil is done draining, so I'm gonna install this and refill the oil, and then we'll come back to the oil filter itself later. It's not gonna be today. All right, putting fresh oil in this baby. All right, I apologize, it's pretty dark, but I just wanted to quickly show you how to um, refill the injection pump with oil or check at least. So there's your main red cap right here. So you open it up to refill it. And then down on the bottom, there's a E10. I'll probably have to include a picture because it's kind of hard to see. There's a 14 millimeter bolt you have to remove. You take it out and if the oil is coming out, you're good. If there's nothing coming out, add oil till it comes out. That guy. All right, now you're gonna need one of these long tubes. All right, the cap is already off. And literally, I'm just gonna put that tube in there. It's gonna be easy to refill it. 
All right, so the way I'm going to refill it is that bolt right there. I loosened that bolt. Uh, it's this guy right here. Loosen that bolt a little bit. There's no oil coming out, but you know, maybe you have to loosen it all the way, most likely. But I'm just gonna refill it a little bit and see if there's anything that starts coming out from that bolt. I'm gonna try it. So, if you look at that bolt, it's dripping fuel right there. Looks like fuel, I don't think that's oil. I got new filter and a seal for this car. Okay, I'm about to install it. All right, new seal, new filter, everything ready to go.